National Memorial Arboretum is the monument for all the services, uh, Second World War and after, and the centerpiece is the National uh, Armed Forces Memorial, which was unveiled by the Queen, Her Majesty the Queen, about four years ago. Uh, we are the second largest monument over there, but there are monuments there for Canadians, Americans, Dutch, Free French, and so forth. It took about two and a half years. Uh, there was a large number of people involved, probably not far from 100, 50 in Poland and 50 in UK. We like uh, to represent all four services because there is no such uh, monument currently. Navy, the Air Force, the Army and obviously the underground fighters, which was very significant. Therefore we need four figures, uh, a lady, girl soldiers uh, in the front, the, the, the pilot from Battle of Britain, the mariner, the seaman from uh, North Atlantic and the soldier from Monte Cassino in appropriate uniforms. The panels around and the 16 of them describe all the phases and major campaigns of the Second World War, starting with September 1939 and finishing in May 1945. Most of monuments, including those in Arboretum, tend to have an endless list of names. We felt that perhaps describing uh, um, more about what those campaigns were about with the dates and the main historical facts was uh, more important because the whole idea was to create a piece of education where most of people could go and actually remember and learn. Everyone knows about Polish airmen and uh, successes of Squadron 303 and so on, but there's not enough about the army, the navy and definitely underground. One of the biggest um, issues was Enigma and Polish intelligence. Uh, at the end of the war, the commander Dunderdale confirmed to Churchill that Polish forces were responsible for absolute majority in percentage terms of the intelligence from the occupied Europe. We are all children of soldiers and we owe them. And we, we thought that this would give us opportunity to actually thank those old soldiers. There's not many of them left uh, for their amazing work during the war and sacrifice for our freedom and yours. <laughs>